honestly, nothing surprises me anymore when it comes to Manchester United and the transfer market. This summer, going into this summer, we all knew we needed a striker. <laughs> we didn't need to see that today against Brighton to know that. We didn't need Cristiano Ronaldo to put in a transfer request to know that we needed a new striker. And we've been linked with Benjamin Sesko, the 19-year-old from RB Salzburg. But he's got a big price tag on his head. Looks like the club doesn't want to pay it. So how about, I know, a cracking idea. How about we go and sign Marco Arnautovic? Manchester United have A, put in a bid for Marco Arnautovic. B, the bid's been rejected. Genuinely, what the fuck is going on at my football club? I want to speak about it in this video. You can let me know what you think about the Arnautovic story in the comments below, as I'm sure you will. If you haven't heard the story, let me bring the news to you here. Everywhere's reporting it. Uh, Sky Sports, The Athletic, Andy Mitten as well. Manchester United have had a £7.6 million bid for Arnautovic rejected. I uh, see down here a bit more information. Uh, we had a bid of €9 million, Euros, as I say, rejected. Um, Ten Hag is keen on signing Arnautovic, who can play out wide or through the middle. Go over here, we read The Athletic. Manchester United are interested in bringing Arnautovic back to the Premier League. Ten Hag is hope, hoping to bolster his attacking options before the summer transfer window shuts. And then a bit here from Andy Mitten saying that Arnautovic has been on the radar since the Ronaldo story sort of developed. Since the Ronaldo story came out. And for the life of me, I do not know what to think anymore. Honestly, like as I say, nothing surprises me when it comes to Manchester United in the transfer window. But this is staggering. And I think Gary Neal's reaction, he was asked about it on Sky Sports. It's basically exactly how we all, we all feel. What about Arnautovic? I don't know. I, I, I have no comment on it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a comment on, Dave, I've got a comment on everything in the world. <laughs> apart from Manchester United signing Marco Arnautovic today. I've got, I've got nothing to say. What has, what has happened to Man United? Seriously. What, Go on, what, Mike. What is going on? And I don't like putting the boot in. It's just... You I are, mean, though. I... Put the goddamn boot in. What is going on to... It's Marco... What is going on, man? This is on a weekend where today we've just sat there and watched Erling Haaland. Oh, yeah, who who, who surprised that he scored two in his debut? Absolutely nobody. I, he's, he's an elite. I, he's, I do not want to watch City with Haaland. I, mean, I don't want to watch City anyway, but City with Haaland this year is going to be a joke. Two goals on his debut against West Ham. Darwin Nunes, lo and behold, who knew the, how good a goal scorer he is? He scored on his debut for Liverpool against Fulham, both of our biggest rivals there with their big striker signings and they bolstered squads which were just far and away better than Manchester United's. And we're going after 33-year-old Marco Arnautovic. Are we... What, what are we doing? Just go out and pay the money that it's going to be to get Benjamin Sesko. Shit the bed. This isn't a joke anymore. I mean, Man United are a joke. And genuinely, I, I don't like using words as, um, as strong as embarrassing, but this is, this is genuinely an embarrassing situation here for Manchester United. It's now, it, it, it's, it's going to be another one of those panic buys, right? It's going to be another one of those late signings of a late <laughs> in their career striker. A stopgap signing. Don't try and tell me that Arnautovic in any way, shape or form is part of a long-term strategy. This would be a short-term fix for uh, a problem that we've had all summer long. A problem that's needed to be resolved all summer long. And a problem which isn't resolved. And we went into the start of this season for Eric Ten Hag. And we did it with no recognised fit number nine. Anthony Martial out injured. Cristiano Ronaldo not fit to start. A Cristiano Ronaldo doesn't even want to be here at the football club. He needs the tools to succeed. Ten Hag's got no chance with the squad in its current form. And if Manchester United genuinely, and we are, like, as I say, this isn't a joke. It really sounds like a joke. But we've, we're actually going to try and sign Marco Arnautovic. Reported by everywhere. This, honestly, it feels like a parody. 
that that's that, that's the way I would describe it. It feels like nah, <laughs> this isn't real. This isn't this isn't actually happening. It is embarrassing. It's purely another situation where it's Edison Cavani, it's Radamel Falcao, it's some it's Latan Ibrahimovic. It's somebody late on in their career as a stopgap by the club because they don't want to invest the big money on someone like that. And that, of course, comes from the rats at the top. And of course it does. And yeah, we've we've spent a lot of money since Fergie retired. And we spent it horrendously. Who are our two best players on that pitch against Brighton today? I'll tell you who the best two players were. Lissandra Martinez and Christian Eriksen, who are both signings that Eric Ten Hag has made. Go and get him Benjamin Sesko, man, for crying out loud. Keep hearing that Salzburg won't sell this out. Come on, man. They'll sell if the right price comes in. Will we have to overpay? Yes. What's the alternative? Marco Arnautovic. And again, I'm going to reiterate, Marco Arnautovic. It stinks. Absolutely reeks out the place. That's such a weird... I don't know, you could, like, oh, Sam, you know, he, he played for FC20 under Eric Ten Hag and Steve McLaren. Blah, blah, blah. Don't try and sell this to me in any way, shape or form. It's something that has strategy. There's something that has a plan behind it. This is... My house is on fire. I need to put it out with the first fire extinguisher. Now, that fire extinguisher is too expensive. We're going to get this little tiny crappy one that's 33 years old rather than a nice new shiny one who could come in and make a big difference. And he might, look, Sesco may not hit, and he wouldn't hit the ground running. He's 19, but it's the sort of promising players that you have to sign when you, when you want to go up the ladder. That's such a weird side. It's not even a sideways step. It's a pure beg. Jesus, go and get a Belotti if you want to get a striker like that who's just going to come in and maybe do a job from the bench. Maybe just boost the squad numbers. But Arnautovic, get in the bin, man. Get in the bin. As I say, on a weekend where Man United fans have had to sit there and endure that defeat against Brighton, on a weekend where Haaland, City's new number nine, comes in and bangs in two on his debut on the same, t on the same weekend that Darwin Nunez comes in and bangs in one on his debut... And our two rivals are going for, getting further and further and further away. And we're going after Marco Arnautovic. It's a spectacular fall from grace. <clears throat> it really is. When it, ha it has been. Spectacular is the wrong word. But Gary Neville's honestly like his, his perplexion there. Let me, let me, I want to play that, that bit again there. What about Arnautovic? I don't know. I, I, I have no comment on it. <laughs> Seriously. I think that's exactly how I... <laughs> when, when the story came out, I was like, "No, nah, no, nah, that's that's not true." I'll let I'll let that I'll let that simmer. United man, what are you tr what, what what are we doing? What are we trying to do to Eric Ten Hag? It's it's not a case of knee jerk reaction. Ah, oh, we've lost to Brighton. Ah, oh, we need more signing X Y Z. We were all saying this at the end of last season, before the season finished. We were all saying it going into the summer, and it's been on our to do list all summer long. The fact that Ronaldo's not fit, the fact that Ronaldo wants to leave just exacerbates the problems. The fact that Martial's injured exacerbates the problems. And we now are in a position where, <laughs> where not only are we going after Arnautovic, number one, and how bad that is. Number two, Bologna's rejected the first bid. And number three, I'm pretty sure he's looking for a three-year deal. This is a man who's 33, by the way. I don't even think I would have wanted to sign on out of it at his peak, let alone at this point. It just stinks of another. Ah, oh, we don't know what. Ah, oh, sorry, just bring someone in. Doesn't really matter who. There's no long term planning behind that. That's a short term panic. And we don't have to panic when there's, when there's a plan right there. It's just that it's a bit more expensive. And in this case, that is exactly what it is to do with. You have to match what your rivals are doing. and uh, um, My word, it, Darwin Nunes going to Liverpool, Erling Haaland going to Man City, and imagine that Marco Arnautovic goes to Manchester United. We deserve to finish mid-table when you're making signings like that by comparison. It is an utter joke. That really is an utter joke. It's the only way I can describe it. It's embarrassing, the fact that we're, all, we're in for him. We're trying to get him. 
Just go and get Sesco. Get Ten Hag what he needs because if you don't, we've seen what we're going to watch. What we've watched today is what we're going to see for the rest of the season. United will not have enough. And signing on out of it, that moves no needle. It changes nothing. United, man. What are you doing? Seriously. 